Yep, it's back to basics indeed. I need to unlearn something I've been doing solidly for the last 15 years. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today is day 752 in my M140i and mileage right now is 35203. In this video, I'm going to take a look at how the throttle mapping changes in each of the main driving modes. This is something that's always been of interest for me, how they each change the feel and the character of the car. I've only ever had one car before with different throttle maps and different driving modes, and that was my 2017 Mark III Ford Focus RS. That sharpened the throttle a bit in sport mode, but it was only slight and it was only just noticeable. In this car though, each one has a very, very different feel to it. I find Eco Pro too soft, way too soft, although it is useful when ferrying the family around because it's nice and smooth. Thankfully though, it's rare that I have to do that because we've got a C-Max for family duties. Then there's the Sport throttle map, which is switchable in the configurable Sport driving mode, or it's on by default in Sport Plus. I find that one way too sharp. It's all or nothing. It feels difficult to modulate it with true finesse. Personally, I'm a fan of the comfort map that you get in comfort, traction off or DSE fully off modes. Of the three of them, I find that one the most natural. It's the most linear of them all. But the purpose of this video, what I was curious to see was how they all differ in their responses to what my right foot asks of the car. So last weekend I set up my data logger, went to a familiar quiet stretch of road and ran a few tests. The results, which I'll show you in a second, while interesting, were pretty much as expected. However, I also discovered something that I really wasn't expecting to see. Something that has caused me to really question what I'm doing in this car and has given me a need to start driving all over again. First, the data, the throttle maps and what they do. What did I capture and how did I do it? It was quite simple. I used an OBD adapter, the Android app Talk Pro and Race Render 3 video editing suite where you can put gauges and things overlaid on your videos. I logged the accelerator pedal position and the manifold throttle position in three gears in each of the three driving modes. So they got a gentle but progressive squeeze right through third, fourth and fifth in Eco Pro, in Comfort, and in Sport. And what you will see is a data trace of the throttle pedal at the top, which is shown here in green, and then the manifold throttle, which is shown at the bottom in red. And the two video feeds, my feet and the dials, are there more for me to check that the data corresponded to what I was actually doing and what the car was actually doing. So first we have the data from the runs in Eco Pro. Now we have comfort. Finally, the runs through each of the gears in sport driving mode.
there you have it. And what do I make of all of this? Well, firstly, modern engines are way more complicated than my basic Halfords level brain can comprehend. In my mind, if the throttle body or the manifold throttle is fully open, I should be accelerating as hard as possible. In all three of the modes, I see the manifold throttle opening fully to 100% way before I've got my foot fully down on the pedal. And it doesn't matter which map it is, it's way before I feel that really hard shove from having my foot right down on the floor. So either I'm logging the wrong field or there's other things at play. It did say manifold throttle, so I took that as being the throttle body and being 100% open as is logged. Regardless of that, you can see from those runs how each of the three maps responds differently to the pedal inputs. From analysing all my runs, it appears the Eco Pro only gets going once you give it 75% throttle. In comfort, you get a similar manifold response, but when you get to 50% on the pedal, And in sport, that same manifold throttle response kicks in at 33% or about one third of throttle pedal travel. And that does feel about right to me. In Eco Pro, you get nothing, nothing, more nothing, and then you get bam, full throttle. Comfort feels just about right. Seems to feel like the engine's doing what your right foot's doing. And sport is like, whoa, just tickle it and you're off at pace. And what's the other thing I discovered then? What else did I find out from this exercise? Well, this footage here shows me downshifting with the auto rev matching, and this shows the problem. been braking like that for over 15 years since I started heel and toe downshifting in my Clio 172 Cup. In that car, in my Clio 200, my Fiesta ST and my Focus RS, all of them had a brake pedal that stayed high on the road above the throttle. I braked gently but with my foot only half on the brake pedal but also covering the throttle so that I could roll it off to the side and blip on a downshift. All of them and the two Clios in particular had pedals perfectly set up for it. The brake and the throttle were at the right height and the Clios even had a flared throttle pedal to help you get the side of it when you wanted to give it a nice rev matching blip. In this though it seems that technique just half covering the brake but while also covering the throttle for a blip it seems that technique is not an option. Even when I'm braking really gently, if I'm covering the throttle as well to give it a blip, the brake pedal moves down far enough for me to actually be putting pressure on the throttle pedal. There simply isn't enough height difference between the brake and the throttle pedal to make doing that possible without pressing the accelerator while I'm braking. You can see from the data that I've captured that that pedal press doesn't seem to translate into an actual manifold throttle opening, but it is a concern and it's something that I need to work at to stop doing. I do intend to explore this further. I didn't run any of these logging tests in the traction off or DSC fully off mode, which is where I spend 95% of my driving time. So I'll be trying that out next and I'll be spending a lot more time focusing on what I'm actually doing with my feet on the pedals. I hope you found that interesting or useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it, do subscribe if you haven't done already, and thank you very, very much for watching.